and we sponsor these projects. And we ask the faculty and the, ex uh, and the students to come with the new idea. And they have one year working on this project. And that's why, uh, and we shift the research because we would like these projects to have the design element, to have the research element, and to have the entrepreneurship uh, spirit of it. Uh, but in order to get to that year, students, they go and take projects during the courses. So the moment they reach there, they are only they already have the mindset that you have to do something new, you have to add, and you have to go beyond books in order to, to do things. So how many years have the students stayed here for graduation? Uh, four, four years and a half. Four years and a half. Roughly. And yeah. one year is is exclusively for the for the program. No, actually, the last year part of it. Actually, oh, no, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They, they take courses in the last year, but they take one course that. It goes over the whole year. We call it uh, the capstone project year. Uh, project. In addition to the courses they take. So this year is not dedicated to that project. They take courses also. That's good. As a part of the program. And it's part of their uh, requirement. And they will be examined on this by people from the college and people from outside. And if the project is coming from a certain company, uh, definitely they will be partner in evaluating the project and supervising the students. We, we have various uh, places we, c uh, we get uh, funds, but we don't have much money. Actually, uh, it is uh, the minds of the people and the talents that will really create problems. Having too much money sometimes is, uh, works against you. So I wouldn't classify our university as spending too much money on research. However, we have adequate money coming from the university budget itself and from the companies and the industries around us. They sponsor the project. And that's why sometimes we design and we be creative in the projects that are related to a certain sector and we go to that sector and try them to help the students and help that project. So the fund comes, as I said, either from the college or from people from outside. Uh, and when the, when the idea becomes uh, good to a stage where it, you can transfer it, technology transfer and you commercialize it, then we go and sell it to other companies and we get more funding for it. So the, the, there is a research and now, such as, such as the eighth we are talking about now. So if it is from a research to a practical product, so can, can this product bring any benefits to the college and also to the students? Yes, mm -hmm. we have a system for that. Mm -hmm. uh, the moment we, uh, for example, we design something and that something can become a commercial product, uh, either we do the patenting, then after that we sell it or we give it to a company to commercialize it, and the university will take royalty for that or equity for that, mm -hmm. and this money will be divided to the college to sponsor students or to the university, and at the same time those people develop the patent on a project, they will take part of it. Okay. Uh, so always we register whatever we produce in the name of the students and the faculty, and the university has it, its own share. Mm -hmm. Either we partner with a company uh, while we are doing the project, mm -hmm. or maybe we, do, we, we partner them after doing the project. Mm -hmm. In this case, they take the commercialization and the technology transfer part of it. Okay. But so definitely so royalties and equities, they come back to the university. So, so what's your aim of training, training students here? What kind of students do you want? We would like to have students who they have uh, a vision of helping the society and the community, and they will be part of helping this country and the region to become a, a knowledge-based economy. Mm -hmm. uh, because, you know, depending on basic uh, resources like oil, whatever, at one stage it will end up. Mm -hmm. And definitely we need the human capacity that they will build a knowledge-based economy. This is what our goal at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. And in order to reach that, we, have our, we need our students to be innovative, they have the entrepreneurship spirit, mm -hmm. and at the same time, they know how to commercialize their products, not only for the region, for the whole world. Mm -hmm. Okay, is there any Chinese students here? Uh, we have few Chinese students, yes. Yeah, so and college of engineering, we have about three of them. So how do you think about their job here? Uh, they are like all other students, very intelligent, very committed, they work very hard. Yeah. You see, here at the university, we really don't distinguish. We would like students to feel they are equal, 
and they come with their culture and we respect that and we would like to have a very nice uh, atmosphere for all of them but all of them they should be dedicated and they have to think of uh, the whole world as a world whether you work in China you work here you have to develop things which are useful to the humanity and to the all, to all people we are so proud to have the Chinese students with us and I hope we will have more of them with time okay so you know because you know there are a lot of Chinese students in China now they want to uh, continue to study overseas. Maybe they will choose U.S. college instead. Uh, great, great colleges, but they don't of the um, of the know actually knows about this university. Mm -hmm. So for them, what do you want to tell them? As uh, what's your advantage of this university, and what your university can give them? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, this university coming to this university is like going to an American university exactly in the states. We are accredited by America, mm -hmm. and we have the same uh, accreditation. Uh, like all universities in the States. Mm -hmm. Our faculty, they come from all over the world, and if you look at the faculty, exactly the same faculty you could have at an American university or even better. Mm -hmm. uh, the same thing here, we have a diversity of students, students they come from all over the world, and nowadays you have to work in an environment like this in order to be successful. Mm -hmm. Regarding for students to come from China, I think this is much more near to them, uh, to come to this part of the world. And maybe because this is a dynamic area, uh, Dubai and the Emirates and whatever, so maybe in the future they could uh, do business in this region. Uh, and, uh, and we are close to the area, India, China, Malaysia, and the Arab in the Middle East. Is, uh, the future is there when it comes to business. So if they study here, they already be, uh, their studies are rooted here. They will know the culture, they will know the people. And I think the future will be much more brighter for them. And please, when you come, come and visit. Are you uh, stationed in Dubai? Yeah, I'm stationed in Dubai, and uh, maybe this uh, this news will be brought.